welcome back to Almost Average. So today I am super excited to unveil my new series called Appalachian Toge. What is it? What Appalachian Toge is, is a series focused on the mountain roads we have here in West Virginia and showcasing them to the rest of the world. I take these for granted. I get to drive them every single day, but as I get out and travel, I start to realize that we have some very, very amazing passes throughout this region. If you've ever seen the state of West Virginia, it is one giant mountain. There's not a flat spot within this state which provides some very, very good roads. Now let's, let's take a look into what is toge. Toge in Japanese terms is a mountain pass. If you're familiar with drifting or initial D, the anime, you'll be pretty familiar with this term already, but typically there's an uphill battle and a downhill battle, right? So something like this with pretty good amount of power will do good on the uphill. Whereas coming downhill may not do so well because it's all wheel drive tends to kind of oversteer or understeer, whichever one, you know what I'm talking about. But if you have a lighter weight car like the 8.6 in the anime, they do very well. They can drift downhill, things like that. So depending on your car, you might do better on one or the other. Now we're not here to break any laws today. We just kind of want to showcase the roads that we do have, show you the beauty of the state and the very um, unique types of roads that we have here in West Virginia. So tune in, we're going to strap into the car, take off, go up Route 7. So starting from the bottom of the pass, we go by a river at around 900 feet elevation. We're going to climb to about 3,000 feet. So it is the very definition of a mountain pass. So very, very cool. A lot of elevation climbed within a short amount of time. I think it's about five minutes up the mountain. So you're climbing around 2,000 feet of elevation in five minutes. So if you think about that, it's a pretty steep mountain pass. So pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited for this to be the first one. Also, if you all know of mountain passes as you watch this, please comment. If it's in the West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina region of the Appalachian Mountains, please let me know. I would love to go drive them and showcase them. I kind of want to make this either a weekly, at this point probably more so of a monthly uh, type of series, depending on how popular it gets. And this takes us away from wrenching in the driveway gets us out here on the car, driving and enjoying all the hard work that we put into this thing. So again, step away from the driveway, get into the driver's seat and really enjoy these things because that's why we do it, right? All right, let's strap in. This is Route 7, going up the mountain to Terre Haute, and it's a very fun road to drive, lots of curves, and I think you climb about 3,000 feet in elevation, so it is an uphill battle for sure. Now, I'm not going to be drifting up this road by any means, because we're trying not to break any laws here, but that being said, we're going to uh, explore every aspect of 55 miles per hour. Very fun uh, road to drive up through here. The uphill is pretty tricky, not gonna lie. Hopefully there's not a lot of traffic today and we can uh, really test out this suspension. Yeah, it's a little bumpy through this section here. I've got the GoPro mounted up front, so we'll see if it survives. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, I think we caught some air. I see something laying in the road here. That could be bad on the downhill. Oh, yeah. Some metal. I don't want to hit that on the way back. So let's go down to third. Give it a little boost. Oh, tons of fun.
driver, so I'm gonna slow her down a little bit. Oh, he flashes brake lights at me. Sorry, copper, I'm just having fun. I'm going 55 though, so uh, let's see what happens there. Get up top you can really everything opens up when you get up on top of the mountain beautiful views up here Right, so this is the top of the mountain so quick little pass maybe five six minutes right there is a caudal sign so 3,010 feet and I think starting off at the bottom of the mountain you're looking at probably 1,100 feet maybe 900 feet in elevation so not quite 3,000 feet we climb but let's just say 2,000 just for good measure shows a lot of this because it is beautiful up here. I know he's loving this road. Check this out. I hope the camera really captures all this. Because once you get here to the top of the mountain pass, it's so cool. We've got cattle everywhere. You really are on top of the world. I'm going to try to turn around up here. I think they call it Evans Curve. You can see a lot. I'll kind of hop out with my phone too and record around a little bit. See a lot of traffic going that way, so we were pretty fortunate on the uphill. I don't think uh, I don't think there was much traffic. Actually, there was no traffic at all. I don't know why I'm saying I don't think because there wasn't. So the purpose of this series really is just to showcase these beautiful Appalachian roads. I know um, in technical terms, toge kind of refers to drifting and you're going to be drifting up these passes. If you were able to shut this road down, like this curve coming up right here, this would be an awesome drifting road. Oh, we'll show it on the camera. This is an absolutely horseshoe turn. Would be awesome to drift around. Um, now, this road is not closed so I cannot drift it. but in the full sense of the term toge it still applies right we're still performing a mountain pass both uphill and downhill climbing about 2,000 feet so i think it's fair for me to use that term and i'm just glad that i get to showcase some of these beautiful roads i'm going to also 
um, have the GPS within the video. So you guys, if you want to drive this road yourself, you, you can do that. So it passes through a lot of beautiful country, especially this time of the year, the leaves are starting to change. Um, I will note that you want to hit this probably right now. Once we get into the winter season, our roads start getting bad really fast. And not only in terms of snow, but more so in terms of potholes. West Virginia loves using tons of salt on their roads. So uh, that tends to tear up the roads really fast, unfortunately. And then you wait about six months before the roads get repaired. So midsummer, you have a small window from the midsummer up until you know fall to make some good passes on these roads especially if you're on a motorcycle maybe not so much if you're just on your on your pov i'm sorry <laughs> military talk coming out maybe uh not so much if you're in your car but um if you're on a motorcycle you definitely don't want to be hitting those potholes so you probably still don't want to be hitting them in your car but more so on a motorcycle than you would on your car all right guys so that's going to do it for today's episode thanks for tuning in this was a lot of fun i really liked getting out there enjoying my car truly driving it and just seeing what this thing is capable of um i feel like that is often overlooked with your cars don't focus all the time on putting money into them and continually building them enjoy what you have go out and drive it and have fun with your car because ultimately um, you can leave it sitting around in the driveway all day and it's fun to look at, but if you're not really driving and enjoying your car, what's the purpose of it? Is it just a lawn ornament? So really take these things out and enjoy them. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Um, and ultimately please comment because what I want to hear from you all is if you know of some roads in this area that maybe they have, uh, maybe a little hidden roads or something like that, kind of in the Northeastern West Virginia then please let me know about them. I would be glad to go travel them. I want to try to make this um, either monthly, potentially weekly, if it gets popular. But, you know, that's a lot of fuel and a lot of planning, things like that. I need to really work on my camera skills and, and doing that kind of stuff. That lady almost just hit me with the golf cart. But, hey, thanks for tuning in. Great episode. See you guys on the next one.